It's hard to believe that I am getting speeds like this living off-grid, I don't have fiber, I have no coax, no fixed internet connection at all, I don't live near a tower, in fact the closest one is almost 14 miles from my house. And before you think I'm doing something illegal or hacking something, those things could not be further from the truth. I'm just doing one simple trick that can boost my speed to as much as I can possibly get without increasing my monthly bill at all. But now let's go inside the house with the exact same T-Mobile internet router and take a look at the results. Now 260 down is not a bad number, but look at the upload, these are terrible. And if you're thinking, big deal, I don't upload video files, you'd be wrong. Anytime you type in something in a box, click a button, you are uploading information. So the higher you get on your upload speeds can make your whole connection seem a lot more snappier and more responsive. Now you might be totally confused, how am I getting almost a gigabit outdoors but such poor speeds indoors? Well the answer is simple, you've got walls in your house, whether they're made of brick, stone, and they are all interfering and robbing you of speed from your internet signal. So what we need to do is bring that signal from the outdoors indoors, and that is not going to be done by something like a booster, those things do nothing. Boosting a bad signal is kind of like taking someone with a bad person personality and just asking them to talk louder. Instead, I'm going to show you something that really works and it is a very simple solution. We're going to use an antenna. Now of course you know that an antenna on your radio will always help you get better signals, but we can use that same technology to get better signals for our internet service, especially if you're using T-Mobile. By allowing us to take that outdoor signal and bring it inside of our house, this company Waveform introduced two brand new antennas. One problem with the T-Mobile internet router is it doesn't have an antenna port. Now they've got a brand new router that does, and the same antenna will work with both. But if you've got this cylinder shaped router like I do, you will have to open it up to connect the antennas inside. They use four cables as you see here, and once you've got the cover off, you have to connect these small plugs into the existing four antenna outlets. If you want to know how to do this step by step, a guy named Nader Tater on YouTube made a fantastic video showing you every step of this process. Once you've got that antenna connected, you can route the wires through the bottom of the router like I did. Now again, this isn't the most elegant solution, it's not perfect, but the goal here is if you live off grid, you oftentimes have to do things that are a little bit different to give you a better quality of life, or in this case, better internet. Now when we add an antenna into the mix, things are only going to get better. That's where I recommend that you start out, because once you're outdoors, you're going to see what type of a signal you can get in the best possible situation. So if you bring your T-Mobile router outside like I've done here, plug it into an outside outlet or a power station, you can connect to it via your cell phone and do some simple speed tests. Now the benefits with these new waveform antennas are, they have designed it to work specifically with T-Mobile's home internet routers, but you can also use these with any type of internet router. They've got two versions of these antennas. Many people didn't want to get this larger one that you would typically mount on the side of your house or on a pole, and that larger one will give you the best performance, and you can use the included cables to put it anywhere outdoors that you like. But they went one step further and created this miniature version of that same antenna. This one might not require any installation. You can use this small included stand, or additionally you can put suction cups on it, and just fasten it to the inside of a window. And this has to be one of the most clever ideas I've seen. Say you want to put this mini antenna outside the window for the absolute best signal you can get, but you don't want to drill any holes. Well, they created this tiny flat antenna cable. Then you can close your window right on the cable, and you can immediately connect your antenna outside to your router indoors without any extra work. And now for the real secret that I've learned over the past two years of using an antenna off grid, and that's how to set it up correctly. You can buy this antenna, but if you don't do this, you will never get your maximum amount of speed. Take your router and antenna outdoors and connect them up. Now place that antenna on some type of a base like I've done here, and you'll want to begin rotating it. Think of a clock dial, start at 12 o'clock, go to 3, 6, and then 9. But at each spot, you'll want to connect up a phone directly to the Wi-Fi of your router. At that point, run a speed test and see what kind of results you get. And then once you get a really high result, begin to fine tune it. Move the antenna just slightly to the right or the left and stop where you get the highest results. And now you've just determined the cell tower location that you want to point your antenna to. Now at this point you can move the antenna anywhere you want in your house, but you'll always want to be aiming it towards that tower. But what if you want to get a speed boost and you don't want to install anything at all? Well fortunately this one still has you covered. If you get the mini antenna with the built in stand, you can do something just like this. And I pointed the antenna in the same direction that the test gave me the best result. 
And while it's still going through the walls of my house, it is gonna get the benefit of a much larger antenna. And here we can see speeds of almost 300 meg down and 100 meg up. But this is still a fantastic result compared to what I was getting with just the built-in antenna. So if you're using any type of wireless internet provider and you're not using an antenna, you are definitely losing out on performance that you could get right now without spending any more money per month. For the best performance, you'll wanna get that Quad Pro antenna. This is their largest offering, and of course it's gonna give you the best signal, but it does require a bit more installation. This Quad Mini that I showed worked fine indoors, giving me a boost, and additionally, you could use it outdoors as well. I've been personally using a Waveform Quad Pro antenna since last year, and it is well worth the effort. If you're off-grid or you've got a weak or poor signal, putting an antenna in eliminates the structure of your building and can definitely give you a speed increase without paying any more per month. And the Waveform guys know everything about antennas. This is all they do, so if you need help, reach out to their website. If you have any questions about what I showed in this video or you want to see something else, be sure to leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.